What's going on? My name is Nate, and I love SeaWorld Orlando, okay? I've been going to SeaWorld since I was six years old. I'm now 26, so I've been in that game for 20 years. When I first went to SeaWorld, Kraken was new, just to give you some context. <laughs> So I've really seen that park grow. Uh, I remember waiting like two hours for Manta when it opened. Um, I watched Kraken go from, no or not Kraken, I watched Mako go from nothing to what it is. So I've really watched this park grow. And so I feel very comfortable and confident with my five-year future plan with SeaWorld. It's what I would love to see from SeaWorld and I wanna see the park go in these directions. So, in this video, I give my 2025 to 2029 suggestions, and then at the end, I'm going to give my final thoughts of, like, what I want to see at the park that I think the park should go in the direction that, like, this is the, the way that I want the park to go, you know what I mean? So I'm going to give all that, so let's get into it. Starting with this year, we obviously know that Penguin Trek is opening, uh, I think in a couple months, and that's going to be a launched family coaster. It's by B&M, which is their fourth B&M, fifth B&M, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. Like, chill out. For 2025, I think that it's going to be a bit of an off year. And so what I would love to see, what I predict would be a jellyfish exhibit, like what's going to SeaWorld San Diego. I think SeaWorld Orlando needs that. There's no exhibit that's just completely centered around jellyfish. And I believe that this is going to go by Turtle Trek. In this little area that I've allotted, there's enough space there, especially because I know that's a lot of dead space. And looking at it, that area, that, that like pink area, that is almost as big as, actually it probably is as big as the, the Dolphin uh, Stadium and all the all the stuff that's there. So that's like a big plot of land. I think that would be perfect. It'd be so awesome. And another exhibit, which makes that park like perfect. The exhibits are so good. 2026 is when I think we'll see another roller coaster at the park. And I know what you're thinking. They have too many roller coasters. I know, I know that. However, I think that they're kind of on a roller coaster renaissance. If we don't see a roller coaster in 2026, I think we're gonna see an expansion or a thrill ride added, but I don't know. So what I think for 2026 is a GCI Woody. I've also put that by Turtle Trek and I've allotted that space in green, which is a lot of space, especially for a wooden roller coaster because they're very out and back. And especially with GCIs, they're very much like twisty. And I think this is perfect, especially because the closest GCI is Fun Spot. And that's the only wooden roller coaster in Orlando. So you know, or SeaWorld, not Universal, SeaWorld can build this GCI, make it the tallest wooden roller coaster in Orlando. It kind of be the, it could be the tallest in Florida because Iron Gwazi is a hybrid coaster. It's not a wooden roller coaster. There's a lot of things that they could market with that wooden roller coaster. And it's perfect. It would fit so well in that area too. For 2027, I think that they will finally expand that area that is behind the flamingos by the stingrays up at the front of the park. Behind that is just a parking lot. And so I really believe that what they need to do is add a boardwalk section, connect that to the Key West area, make it expand the Key West area, especially because visiting I visited the Keys and the Keys are just, I, I feel like Florida in general is very boardwalk heavy. And there's no boardwalk like Florida mangroves area in SeaWorld, which is kind of crazy because, girl, where are we? We're in Orlando, Florida. Like, why is there no mangroves heavy area land? And I really think that that's what the boardwalk area should be. So for this area, I really think that they should add uh, some type of flat ride. I think they, they need another water ride that's like just a ride, not like Infinity Falls or like Journey to Atlantis. They need just a straight up water ride. And I believe that would fit perfect there. Then they could also add some type of thrill ride to that little area. That'd be perfect. So perfect. I don't really know what they would do. I could see like what they added at the Jumanji land, that, um, that ostrich ride that goes up and down in a circle. I think that would be fine. I think there's a couple other rides as well that would fit really well in that area. It's not a big plot of space, 
especially what I've allotted for it, uh, because I want to keep parking in that area and I have it for future expansion. <laughs> but I think it'd be so perfect. I, 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 ah, oh, it'd be so perfect. For 2028, we're almost there, 2028, I really think that this is when they're going to act on the uh, the Wild Arctic building where Icebreaker is. I could see them acting on this sooner, but I think this would be the perfect time to do it. And so if you look at the picture, I've allotted this space in blue. Obviously, they would have to completely redo that building. The building that is in blue does not contain the exhibits. That's where the original Dark Ride was the theater, the floating theater. So what I think they need to do is bring that attraction back. I imagine like a suspended dark ride, like E.T., uh, like Confrontation was, something like that. Because when I was a kid and when we would go ride the Wild Arctic, that was my favorite ride up until it closed. Because I love the idea of going to the arctic and then there's like a crazy blizzard and i i thought i for real thought that we were in a helicopter <laughs> i thought that was real not like that we were in the arctic but i was like no we're in a helicopter right now like we are going into the water oh man just thinking about it and then you end and then you exit into the arctic animal exhibit oh my god that is the best exhibit at any amusement park i've ever seen that ex that exhibit i could go on and on but I think that a suspended dark ride would be perfect. They don't have anything that's suspended like that in the park. It'd be so perfect. It'd be such a small, quiet, slow ride. And that's what SeaWorld needs. They don't need anything crazy. They have all this other crazy roller coasters. They don't need that. They need a small dark ride. And it'd fit perfect there. Do not give me a straddle coaster in that building. I don't want it. I'm sick and tired of launch coasters. All right, so 2029, if they follow my predictions, 2029 will be the big year because they didn't add any crazy expand or any crazy additions in the years prior. So I believe that this is when we will finally see the SeaWorld B&M Wing Coaster. And I know we've been wanting this for years. I know that this is something that would fit so perfect in this park. So I've allotted it in the area behind the boardwalk, and I believe that parking is employee parking, so I just added an employee parking garage, which the space that I allotted is very big. I know that. So the B&M wing coaster plot looks kind of small, but I think that the way that they could work it, it would make sense. And there's also land around this area that I don't know what it is used for currently that could be moved or changed or whatever. So I really do think that this would make so much sense. And the space around there is pink because they would theme it to flamingos because it's right there. Imagine you're on a wing coaster that's like a flamingo. Like, it's right there, SeaWorld. Imagine a pink track with like, I think like, like a hot pink track with like subtle baby pink supports. It would look so beautiful in the skyline of SeaWorld's roller coasters. Imagine that. And then like it could go up and then like go through like like the dive like it does it would be so perfect and also with the way the pink would erode in the sun it would kind of become a softer pink which is really more true to the flamingos and i think it'd be perfect because if they have the florida mangroves as the boardwalk area and i think that they could really build a boardwalk like over water and then have a water-based attraction there perfect do it perfect and then have the wing coaster right there. Like, oh, it's so perfect. Okay, so now that we got all the predictions done, my final thoughts, my suggestions, my goals, what I want from SeaWorld. Uh, so I know that they are rumored to be building two hotels on property and SeaWorld needs that. When I think about it, you could easily spend three days at SeaWorld because they have the main park they have Discovery Cove, and then they have Aquatica. And so that's a day of each park. And that makes that makes so much sense. I think that is such a unique experience that you can really only get at SeaWorld. And if they add hotels, like what I imagine is like an Atlantean themed hotel, you know, like, like a shipwreck hotel, like a hotel that has that kind of theming to it. 
you can't find that in Orlando. And I really hope that they're able to build those hotels. Another thing I would really love to see is some type of city walk, uh, like area at the, at the entrance, just like a plaza. I want the same for Busch Gardens Tampa as well, because imagine like an African themed um, entryway, just a port of entry, like SeaWorld needs an Atlantis themed, kind of very much like port of entry islands. I think that theme and that idea is what I would love to see at SeaWorld. I think that would be so perfect, especially because sometimes the park closes early and maybe you want to stay on property still. You can go out, get a couple drinks. You know, it just makes so much sense. Um, another thing that I really want the park to do is upgrade their bathrooms, which I believe they were working on slowly, but they got to, they got to do that. That needs to be done yesterday. Like new bathrooms, please. What else did I have? Oh, to go with the bathroom is better food in the park, which also makes sense. But really what I would love to see is parking garages. Uh, and the, the parking lot is so big. And I don't think that they really need to expand the park more, but they need parking garages or they need um, solar panels in the parking garage, in the parking lots for coverage, of course, but also because they need to generate electricity in a more sustainable way especially because this is a conservation park. Like, I don't know where they get their electricity from or, you know, anything, but I think that that would be perfect. If they have parking garages, they could easily put them on top of the parking garages. Uh, it just, it, that needs to happen. That is my five years SeaWorld Orlando plan. I really would love to see any of those pieces happen within the next five years. It doesn't have to be all of them. I just want at least two or three of them to happen. I know SeaWorld has a master plan. I trust them and I'm excited. And yeah, so if you want more theme park content, I am gonna be doing more videos like this. Again, my name is Nate, you may be new here. I have other videos. I love YouTube, I love talking to you, and I'm a major in theme park enthusiast and I'm trying to kind of dive more into that on my, on my YouTube channel and my content. So, if you like what I do, definitely subscribe. You can like if you want. It's fine. I'm not going to force you to do anything. But I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, a wonderful uh, evening, which I think is the same as night. But anyway, I love you. Hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe, and I'll see you later. Peace.